Oh yeah, I love my hobby. <laughs> Nothing better than getting free air conditioning scrap to play with. I've got an old-fashioned Fujitsu air conditioning condenser. Some cheapo line sets, old China ones. It's sweating up nicely. And a brand new R410A Mitsubishi slimline uh, ceiling evaporator. It's a uh, model SEZ KD60. So it's roughly 8.5 kilowatts like the condenser. And this thing is just cranking out cold and heat like, I, yeah, I can't fault it. I had to top up the condensing unit because I only had about half its normal charge. But this thing is just pumping it out. It's got a DC variable speed fan motor. The uh, control box is all complete. And that's what's controlling it. All I had to do is change that jumper over from auto or remote control to manual and it will manually operate as a uh, dedicated evaporator. Depending on the temperature of the coil, it will change fan speeds accordingly. If a signal for defrost is cold, it will actually stop the fan. So it's still working all right. Considering I'm mi mixing Mitsubishi technology with Fujitsu, it's doing pretty good. And this thing's never been used, it's brand new. The cable knockouts have never been used. The uh, terminal strip was never touched. It's, it's brand new. It's made for R410A, I'm running R22. And it still seems quite happy. Get a nice beer can sweaty cold on the suction line. I've dumped about a kilo of refrigerant into it so far, so it's getting a bit more happy. It's sitting on about 50 pounds, probably go a little bit higher. I'll throw it into reverse and see what it does in heat mode. But this thing's just cranking out cold at the moment, it's freezing. Yeah, that's nice going to live up in the rafters up there. I'll pull that fluoro down and that light uh, terminal block and I'll fit it up in there as an auxiliary heat pump. It's good shit. Really good. All right, let's try a bit of heat mode. If we can get the bloody plug in the hole. I love the way lights dim when this thing starts up. There's nothing wrong with it, it just pulls a few amps. It's rated at about 10 amps normal current. It's on the auxiliary circuit. Oh yeah, that's already smoking hot. It's gone from frosty cold to smoking hot pretty quick, so you don't do that too often. And notice I'm using the high side gauge for this, not the low one. Approaching 200 psi. i got to find the other filter for it. There's two brand new filters and some other stuff with it. I think they installed it but decided they didn't need it. There's a silicon around the outside of this surround. So I'm guessing they have installed it somewhere, but they pulled it out shortly afterwards, maybe due to a refit or cancellation. But yeah, that's nice. I'd say it's about 25, 30 degrees coming out of there. That's really impressive. It's only just getting warmed up. It's about 25 degrees or so. I like it. It's got to live up in the ceiling here to boost that one. That's also a Fujitsu 8. Point, I think it's a 8.2 kilowatt, maybe 8 kilowatt heating. So it should work quite well. <laughs> Yeah, nearly 225 PSI. I think it's still a little bit low, but because it's an R410A evaporator, pressures might be a little bit imbalanced, but I'm happy with what it's, what it's doing at the moment anyway. It's very cold in cooling mode, it's very hot in hot heating mode. That's all that matters. And compressor's getting a bit of sub-cooling, so that's the main thing. Yeah, coil's frosting up. It's all cold.
And I'll see how this goes. I'll try and install it soon. So, thanks for watching.